Hi Sasini, welcome back to the Koi Element and welcome back to the 20% in the East. If you're new, karibu sana. If you are an old time member and umekua pa hizo episodes zime tokea before, welcome again, welcome again. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I think today in terms of different kiasi, okay, obviously as you can see, it's, uh, it's not the same like the video format. I'm trying something new here and I'm also Nikon Transit, so I says you put a stable place to just stay and shoot a video but this is going to be interesting I'm going to be trying something new and we'll see if cut to end earlier or to try explore this or to mix, mix it up video and uh, and graphics so um <clears throat> thank you so much for for being here i also see your comments Anna, thank you so much. Anna, na naga comments ako so much. Aki, you are <laughs> you are an awesome friend. And thank you, thank you for the support and for participating all vilu na wesa and I'm uh, any I'm grateful kabisa kabisa so much. Clinton, I also see your comments there. Tulikon na wewe EAC. I think you're still there. So yeah, maybe one day you'll have a catch up here and we'll also give your input. Um, Saisi, also thank you for your comments. Um. Who else? Who else? I'll see, I see all your comments. Uh, and you saw Kiasi says it, but there was a guy who, there was a channel who asked me to do my episodes in Swahili also, which I understand because, you know, like TZ and these other countries, you know, Swahili and all, you know, like their whole thing. And I'll try. Look, so language is quite sanifu, as you might clearly <laughs> assume by now. But I'll try to is it going to Swahili and do kilometers of Kuala. A few episodes in Swahili, a few episodes mix. Do not join the rest as long as come and join English. I'm sure people join Swahili. So we tell you, but yeah, uh, itakuwa po itakuwa po. I'm going to I'm going to implement that. So um, welcome to episode four P one E four of the twenty percent in the east. Eh, pole pole. Let's not let's not let's not be sorry. And uh, today's episode is uh, by virtue of the way I'm communicating and all that. It's going to be a short one. Okay. I know I say it's going to be short all the time, but that's the... <laughs> so that's the short one for me. So uh, today's episode is going to just be a quick one. <laughs> Let me say it's going to be a quick one. And we're going to be just looking at the phases of integration or the pillars of integration or the stages of integration, however you want to call it, of the East African Community Integration. We have four. We have the Customs Union in this particular order. We have the Customs Union, the Common Market, the Monetary Union, and the Political Federation. So uh, let's go through that and uh, I hope we <laughs> have a good time. So let's start. Yeah, so uh, to answer, the first one uh, is the customs union. So this is the first regional integration like phase or a milestone of the East African community. And it, was, it was really important. So it was launched in 2005. And we also see it being um, <clears throat> echoed or mentioned or talked about or explained in the treaty. I think it's Article 70-something, Article 75. Yeah, so uh, it was the, it's the first stage, and ideally it's just about, it's talking, you know, customs union. It's just about taxes and all that. So what it's characterized on is that where, if between us, between CC, what we East Africa, the, the, the four countries, where at Talipa, there is no like tax takwa, you know, imposed on the goods between CC, the people, the partner states in the East African community. And then also we also agree to a common standard, yeah, goods that are coming out of our region. So ideally, ideally that's like the ma- the major thing. So if I can professionally it's where we have the same import tax on all goods from outside East Africa from outside our community the East African community and removal of all taxes on goods between the countries of the community so not just taxes we also have uh, not just tariff we also have this non-tariff barriers these are like 
this other trade uh you know uh restrictions like quarters and bagos i'm sure you remember this in business um the business class if you did business in high school <laughs> but removing all those also removal of those non-tariff barriers of that um of any kind of barrier that prevent that will prevent that uh ease and smooth uh trade uh you know trade working <laughs> between the partner states <laughs> my little confused guessy but yeah ideally that's what it is just removing the removing the the non-tariff barriers having the same uh, import tax on all goods from outside from outside of the our region and removing all taxes on goods between the countries in the community you know to the EAC. so um so to as a summer can you say diani ku in a promote you know like na ku enhance growth ya production ya goods within the community because you know like, there there are no almost no taxes between the goods those heavy ones it's easy to trade and we all grow right it also improves the cross border trade you know have a, also the domestic trades in the various national countries national partner states and also foreign investment in their community within cc so it's it's really a good thing so as i've said um launched in 2005 and it's going on so well so ideally isn't it from afar kujua i realized is a topic um it's, it actually has a lot of details and very good up opportunities naming sana na i'm sure some some people really don't know about this cuz well you know I, i i put these questions on instagram on the q and a and all that all that the simple things and i realized well actually people some people don't know So, so you know this my news details so i'm imagining here talking about uh big things if they even make sense or like you see the the whole crop of it you know but traffic up on at least knowing something like this exists uh, exists sorry na kujua at least kukwera mtu anaongea about it you know so at least you talk about that curiosity and you'll want to go read more about it see actually what it's about but if if there's like radio silence you hear nothing about you see upon the shade takwa but at least i'm mentioning this to you and we'll get into details when we get there as you mentioned kuna parts mingi some whole parts just dedicated to various topics and it's going to be really nice so um yeah ideally that's it if you want more information more of these documents Niliwambia EAC website has all the details all those documents and anything I can share up on my Instagram. So um hmm, I told you this one was going to be a first one. <laughs> so the second one, the second phase the second phase of integration or the second stage or the second pillar of the East African community integration is the common market. Wow, this one is an interesting one. This one is a deep one because even we actually remember I showed you the documents we got from the ministry. Yeah, we actually got a copy of the protocol on the establishment of the East African Community Common Market. How many pages? It has a lot of pages. It's actually big. So, na yondo nko na ambia I'm really eager to dive in because that's where the huh, the gem is, the goodies are <laughs> as far as I know. <laughs> so, it's going to be really interesting. So, um the common market market is the second stage of the EAC integration process so it like it's a combination of you know the customs union and this uh, and and has and has character characters of the of common policies on products and their regulations and these rules and all that so ideally actually this is the most exciting part it has this um okay i have my notes here i'm sure mnaweza sikia pages ziki flip flip kiasi kiasi <laughs> I always have my documents here. So, utapata this um the 1 2 3 4 5 6 my favorite parts where the common market it's comprised or it's genuinely just talking about this four things. We have the free movement of goods. Note this cuz I have some questions on this on my Instagram. So, we have free movements of goods, the four freedoms and the two rights so you know the 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 common market you know explain all of this it's just like it's just this is what this is the main meat of it right so we have free movement of goods 
free movement of persons and labor, free movement of services, free movement of capital. Those are the four freedoms and the two rights being the right of establishment and the right of and the right of residence. There's a lot here, honestly. Guy, I can't wait to dive into it. You know, like you less saw when you go to the episodes where we are going <clears throat> deep into it because where, where all the hidden gems are that I'm sure you don't know about but will blow your mind. So so if you look at the the treaty, no sorry, not the yes, the treaty because it's quoted there, but also if you look at the protocol on the establishment of a common market, they have all these there. Why, you know, uh, when you talk about free movements of persons and labor, you know, you look at the various travel documents, they talk about the free movement of the workers, the um the when you talk about persons in labor, no, there are these also professionals. Will they be applicable? Look, and you know that these uh, professionals going here and there, you know, that whole collaboration, which is uh, that's bringing it together, the harmonization, and um, they call it the and mutual recognition of these academic and professional qualifications. I remember once we were talking about that out of my CPA. Remember when I was telling you guys about the, those, my friends, the the guy in Rwanda, remember Alkwa Nafanya, something to do with this, and he was asking me about the CPA, nini nini, Kenya, nini, this is a like difference, but now, how how it actually applies to the EEC, if ukikuwa na umesoma, because again, you know, we have also sort of a different education system both uh, primary and higher education kuna some slight differences so that bringing it together na kukuona what is the equivalent of this nini nini so that's why it, it's important the various policies and the laws and the programs that entails all of that really honestly it's a lot I was just looking at this before I started just a few days ago and hmm can't wait, can't wait. Because, you know, like, okay, so my protocol na, na, the, na the treaty, you're just basically reading the two laws and whatever. But when you want to get, like, the whole story, the the actual, you know, tracing those steps, will in a happen, he win a he win a he win. That's how you see doing the equal more relatable and more um practical to you. That's why it's important to get the real, the real stories mentioned the principles of the common market and the fun the you know fundamental things that drive and that guide the common market which are very important so kuna the principle of non-discrimination of nationals and other partner states in whichever nationality wako non-discrimination that's uh, in that that's a very big and an important you know key aspect of trade you know kila mtu anafaa treated fairly and with respect you know it has to be there it has to be there also ensuring transparency in matters concerning the other each state each partner states sharing information on how these protocols and these laws are being implemented in the, in the other countries sometimes unakuta um Rwanda ni za kwa imefanya hivi imefika this stage that, I don't know, something happens to the implementation, that whole process, and some things just halt. Then you find in Kenya, maybe we may progress to this other stage a bit higher. Then this one a bit higher. You know, so that's why it's important. This is the principles equal respected. And to have that, um, I don't want, let me just call it harmonization. To go on the same page, you know, it's important because then what you you'll find is what you talked about the other episode when we, we had that collapse of the East African Corporation in 1977 where we had the we had that the thing called imbalances you know that distribution or whatever of the, the the good things that come out of the corporation and having no means or no efforts to reconcile that imbalance so that's why it's important you takuta some are here doing their thing vizuri and and the country is benefiting and them they're benefiting but in this other place there's a downside to it so that's why fairness and having you know having the same benefits and just harmonizing everything is really important so that stage is the monetary union so it's uh it's meant to like helping us achieve a single currency huh? single currency will that actually ever happen yes it can happen 
in fact efforts are being made to make it happen you know i'm sure there's some people listening to this or some people in some area of the country seeing it so bleak and there are kuna differences mingi na currencies honestly like big gaps small gaps nini nini a lot but i think it can happen and efforts are being made last i checked there are a couple of things were and uh, that have been established and process in and end up pole pole to the stage it's going it's going and you know, soon we'll we'll hear we'll hear we'll hear from them <laughs> so ideally yeah, it's that bringing achieving that uh, single currency within the EAC partner states to harmonize their their policies their monetary policies which is a finance you know payment and settlements <laughs> You know, I'm hearing that <laughs> money is monetary and <laughs> and their their finances. And I'm just thinking of how in Kenya we have that cadet, that growing debt. And <laughs> okay, let me let, let me not say something. There's a lot to dissect there. And well, this is not the show for now. Kwanza to naanza to sianza to si jichanganya sana, sindo. Yeah, John. Now the fourth one being. The political federation ah wow i'm telling you the ESC has vision and these things can actually happen you know when you work, working together not can actually happen they are actually happening but now i'm in the last stage hey this one is going to be an interesting one so um hmm, the political federation is the final stage of the ESC integration process wow so it includes having a central political authority you know what's happened to <clears throat> politics in other kingia as well as a common foreign and foreign policy and security policy huh interesting do you see how you remember how i mentioned we have almost like kuna some slight differences in our ideologies and you also our historical background in the aspects in regards to politics and how we conduct our politics what i need of to zingen just the politics part of it kwanza and how to start you now we'll have a uh, bringing all that together you know it's like the ultimate it's like the vision a vision like i remember when people were when we were talking in, in school to go up to the au and how there was this talk of the united states of africa you know having something like that so like united <laughs> states of east africa like the east african community we all just become you know the same like about saying how we'll have like one president nini nini all that talk but uh well when it comes to security that's also uh i'm trying to look at how the we are also on different um levels but is the differences there are things that that we are currently working on and and you know imanishi at now when you are uh, federation or confederation as i'll mention later that you just abandon your things and you do whatever you see that's even why it's important to have like uh like educate or to inform and to make aware the citizens and the eac residents and the citizens of what this actually entails do a due secretly you just abandon in your way and just giving up your will because that's one of the other things <laughs> when we're having that discussion and, and dissecting that topic of how ideally what you mean is you know all these other states to surrender their sovereignty or you know and have this this now this uh one figure or one government or one you know state like be the 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 authority and it's difficult because each state kind of some i are not just basic kitu na jua country yako you know you have what makes a country you know the population blah 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 and also the territory and whatever whatever but sovereignty you know it's it's a big deal and it's sick it to give up give up if we see so that's a we need to charge and be to give we give up that in your independence and your sovereignty and just let some one person i don't know from where <laughs> we already have a, a current president who is who is really pushing and who i don't know who who like an i that shit so i don't know what's going to happen but and just push it on people so there has to be processes but that's it's something that can happen without going into details and to expect details but when you look into the future 
into but the utopia future if everything was good it would be a very good thing we would have so much power so much bargaining power both in, in trade military to the security like it will be good look in the future but say is bad to na mad lapo you know getting this nini 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 but it's a good vision it's, it's really good and it's really impressive and it's really bold but i add yes so we also have to look at these factors which is our governance which is our human rights which is our, when you talk about uh, ethics about corruption or anti corruption which is a democracy huh rule of law you know these are things that we have to look at when uh, all the like the things in afa kuchunguza kabisa and to see how we are going to put it there when you're talking about a political federation so that's why it's important that's why even we have this 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 thing when we have elections in each in the different partner states we also have we always have this um sorry we, all, we always have these observer missions to check if everything was done fairly and then they make reports on that so they, they already they have a <clears throat> sorry they have a drafted constitution for the political confederation so this is also something interesting to learn about because this isn't it is not perfect right so you're a citizen of this african community a citizen of kenya which is part of that yeah taxpayers money doing a little easy bit and they fund easy bit so you should know these things right so um why 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 a political federation so much as ah si tuko vizuri vile tuko yeah you know but there's always you know you can just stagnate because that's that's the 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 worst place to be in. like me me stagnate to like you know you've hit a plateau you know there's all you also you always have to keep striving to 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 get to a higher a higher level of cooperation a higher level of interaction trade you know going higher kind of to the security nini nini you know kind of to the border border management border security blah 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 security in the uh in the region when talking about terrorism you know we also learn about these things when we're talking about just this uh civil wars talking about the the communities at the border you know i'm mentioning that a lot but it's actually important when you're talking now about that you could go central kabisa you can get served to the governance accountability transparency you know it's important to always move higher because this that room there's a whole room a roof up there <laughs> that we are yet to get to but it's not to nuns at with those small steps but a lot and it will be of great benefit to us so um as an introduction those, those are the four pillars the four <laughs> stages the four uh, phases of integration and there's a lot a lot a lot a lot at the bado si ja mention and gotten into as i've said but at least na jua ni nini Adam Kenda when you are in your free time when you're going there to google something you know you at least you know what to google <laughs> you know there's this 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 and this